Hi, my name is Natalie and I'm presenting the business model for MyFit. MyFit is an online shopping alternative that promotes body positivity and also reduces stress in online shopping. So looking at our market size, we are an e-commerce app that will be selling affordable clothing ranging from zero to $250. We're really excited to go into e-commerce because its market size is already growing. It's expected to hit 300 million by 2023 and e-commerce purchases are supposed to rise 22% by 2023. So for our target market, we are focusing on women in the United States whose ages range from 15 to 34 and are of any body type. From our demographic research, this means our target market size is approximately 23.82 million women in the US. And from this, this proportion, we're hoping is really interested in using our easy and affordable app to see clothing on different body types before purchasing. So in terms of our pricing, our MyFit app will be free to all users and our revenue will be generated on commission. We were fortunate to speak to Eamon Courtney, who's the former CMO of Gucci and Ralph Lauren. In our conversation with him, he said that it's really common to purchase merchandise from wholesalers at 50% of retail price. So since we are new to the e-commerce market and we are a startup, we decided it would be beneficial to discount this to 40% of retail price. Therefore, for every item of clothing we sell, we'll be making a 40% profit. Moving to key expenses, our key expenses are rising each year, and there's a breakdown to the, on the right side of the screen of the different expense categories. So first, we will need to pay to develop our app and continue app, um, app restoration in the future. So this will be $60,000 in year one and 60% of that for years two and three. Then we'll also need to hire five models, each at an hourly rate of $21.15, and these five models will showcase the five different body types that we want to show on our app. Then we have also hired a photographer for around $54,000 per year, and this will be rising $5,000 each year with the need to photograph more inventory. Our inventory specifically is really drawn out in, in Appendix B, but we have five different brands we're focusing on that, are, that really relate to our affordable demographic. So we did not wanna focus on the luxury brand because 30% of lug the luxury market is in Asia and most luxury consumers are outside of the US which doesn't align with our demographic. Next, we wanted to purchase inventory storage which I have um, inflated each year in our costs. And we will also be paying for marketing for Instagram ads and we'll be paying influencers to sponsor and promote our ad both of which will be discussed further in our marketing presentation. Next, as the five founders, we did not take salaries for the first year, but after, but after the first year for the second and third, we, we were paid salaries based on average startup founder salaries that we found. In terms of sales revenue, our revenue is increasing each year because we are um, having a larger inventory each year and our operating income and operating margins are positive, which is great. Um, the operating income and margin are not linear, but that's only because we have changes in our um, in our sales or well in our inventory that um, is rising exponentially, and we also have differences in our um, technology expenses and our own founder salaries. So, lastly, profitability. We are going to be focusing on supply chain optimization. So, we really want to make sure that we are aligning our costs with the demand necessary from our consumers. So we're making sure that we always have the popular items in stock and aren't wasting and wasting money on inventory that's unwanted. We also focus on product selection again by focusing on what's popular and the types of clothing that are popular per each brand. And we will be having promotions on our apps such as um, price limits to hit for free shipping in the total amount one would be spending on the app. We would also have a loyalty program that would really promote our retention and keep members coming back. Also through our customer acquisition, we're going to be analyzing the data from our current and new customers to really see which retention strategies work the best and the best ways to promote our app um, to these new customers. So that is our um, business strategy. Thank you.